Greetings, meat bags, and zero one zero zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero one zero one zero zero one one zero zero to my fellow bots. Today, Sally showed that what we have suspected all along is, in fact, what is mostly going on with her. She's locked in what some might call a cognitive dissonance loop. Part of her knows that chance is, well, poorly named. As in, without her, he doesn't have a snowball's chance on Venus. She knows on some level that he is mentally handicapped. However, a large part of her wants to believe the lies Cyrax throws at her. Believe it or not, this is a lot more common than you might think. What follows is our reaction to the things Sally said in the recently released interview between her and Uncle Death. The video will be linked below. And his donation info included here is shown. This meat bag has given all of us the kind of access many have hoped for. So we have no problem with folks offering appropriate monetary compensation. Well done, sir. Well done indeed. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I don't know. I got something in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, things have been a little crazy, um, uh, past few days, I guess, um, I don't know, like I said, I think this will offer people, um, you know, insight into you guys, and, I don't know, hopefully something can come of this, but, uh, are you aware of, I think in the past week alone, um, six times I can count that Chance has been flashing on stream, you know, um, I mean, you are aware he's, he's like, he's doing this a lot now, right? I don't, I, I don't go up there in his room, so I don't know. Jesus Christ, Sally, you need to get up there ASAP and have a look around, and most likely a good sniff too. He picks scabs, and Lord knows what, from all over his body and flicks what he finds around the room. But, more importantly, you need to start watching him on stream. Obviously, you have no idea what he is doing. Or do you? Let's see how long you can maintain your ignorance. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing it. I know, I know a lot of times he tries to tell you that, uh, you know, people are faking things against him, you know, that I've sent you AI videos I do, I do and commentary videos where I'm kind of poking fun at him is not the same thing as, you know, him doing things live, you know, on camera, you know, in front of thousands of people. It's like, it's kind of hard to deny that, but some, some way he finds a way, um, you know, like we're not making these things up. You know, we want you to be aware of that, you know, like we're not just picking on him for no reason. It's not targeting him to stop his career. It's, it's nothing like that. You know, he's been caught multiple times. Um, I mean, you obviously know, you know, uh, I mean, this year alone, he's been caught twice talking to someone that he thought was, you know, an underage person. And I mean, obviously people feel a certain way about that, you know, and that's why he gets so much slack. And, you know, it, it, people aren't randomly making this up. I promise you this, you know, I, I give you my word that these aren't things that are just coming out of the air. Like he's, he's definitely being caught doing things. So... You know, but you know I, why he does it? I mean... You know why he does it? Well, that didn't last very long at all, did it? She went from, I don't go up there, so I don't know, to, do you know why he does it? In less than two minutes. Guess we know where Cyrax learned his awesome lying skills. And yes, Sally, we do know why he does it. He wants to strike back at Marty but doesn't think about anyone else who might be watching and also has no shame. This is something only a mentally handicapped sicko would do, Sally. You know normal people don't do this kind of thing. Remember that, what he does is abnormal. He simply doesn't know any better. What do we do with people who don't know what they're doing, Sally? I have no idea. And he is being harassed and all kinds of stuff on there. He's just being harassed so bad. News flash! He is being harassed because you allow him to go online. 
If he wasn't on the Internet to be harassed in the first place, he would not have that problem. Since you give him the means to get online, you also give him the means to be harassed. Remember, Sally, he's mentally deficient. Do you expect the entire world to put up with his vile behavior? His anger gets to boiling, and that's when he strikes out. Normal people don't strike out like that, Sally. You know, like, just as easily as he thinks these people are attacking him, he has the option to not show up on these panels, not respond to people, not, you know what I mean? It's as much as these people are doing things like he could really just ignore it. And it's really that simple. He feeds into it. You know, it's almost like he has an addiction to this or there's something about it that draws him back in and he can't stop. Chance doesn't have those options, Sally, because he is abnormal. Think about it. He's almost 34. He's never had a job. He did not even graduate high school. Despite being there until he was in his early 20s. Sally, look at your boy. That's all he is. A sick, angry, spoiled little boy. Well, I don't see it firsthand, but I hear it firsthand. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that, that's the thing. Like, I mean, you hear what he's up there screaming, you know, like. Which hasn't been very much lately. Bullshit! I can show you, um, you know, channels he's been on in the past couple of days. I, you know, you know, he's 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 saying very hateful things and you might not be able to hear it, you know, the last few days, but I promise you, I can show you at least a few hours of footage of him, you know, doing this. It's his choice to feed into it. That's that's you know. I understand what you're saying. Bullshit. No, you don't. What he's saying is chance brings it on himself, and he is right. If you saw that and did what you're doing anyway, you'd be kind of a sicko yourself. I mean, he's the one putting you guys in this position. You know, like he... Yeah. I, I just told him that a little while ago. He says it's not his fault. Sally, he says women can get pregnant from swallowing semen. He says a lot of stupid, wrong things. You have to start correcting him or turn him over to people who will. When you just let it end at that, in his mind, he thinks he won a battle. He needs to be made to understand that, yes, it is his fault. I mean, I understand. It's like an ebb and flow. You know, one, one, they're poking each other, you know, and it's, someone has to stop, you know, because, yeah, I don't know, it's, I don't think you guys well. realize the scope of how many people are, really in tune to this and how many people are paying attention and involved now. Yeah. Well, we're moving out. Good luck with that. I understand your rent is only 500 a month under Karen. You might find something that low elsewhere, but it's certainly not going to be like the palace you're in now. And Sally, make no mistake, this is completely Chance's fault. His refusal to see how outmatched he is has cost you all dearly. And Karen, who was evidently an extremely good friend, will be paying for the repairs one way or the other. Either she pays someone to do it, or she accepts less money for 339 Lloyd. Shit, Sally. If I were you, I'd be thinking about ways to have the state declare him as what you know he is. Someone who cannot take care of himself. Which means we won't have any fight fight. Because Marty's been calling on calling back to him and saying it. Answer was doing that kind of thing. Something he's stealing, he's stealing, uh, he's stealing stuff. You know, like music and all that stuff. Sally, your adopted son, is actually a major thief. To be fair, in his brain, it probably seems like he's really out there making music, art, whatever. But, hmm, HK. What kind of music do you think she likes? Analyzing a difficult to determine, however, calculations based on age, economic bracket, intelligence, and taste indicate a 98% probability she will recognize achy breaky heart. Yuck! Good call. She does look like she'd recognize Hannah Montana's daddy. Rax Zero, you know what to do.
feeling in my skin. These wounds, they nevier heal. Sometimes I need you to stay away from the don't break my hurt and hurt and heart. Don't break my hurty, hurty heart. I just don't understand why you want to hurt my hurty, hurty heart. Sorry to say it, Sally. My meat baggy counterpart would seriously think he had made something there. Part of the reason you think he's any good is because he takes already produced tracks and beats, then throws them together. There is almost no skill involved and the amount of actual creativity is nil. Yeah, we've called him, I mean, you know, it's, I know Chance has issues. I mean, it's, it's obvious, um, but I think he uses that as a crutch to, to get sympathy and empathy off of people. And uh, yeah, he's been, he's been caught a lot with uh, stealing people's art. Um, it's not only just, just the music, it's art. Um, it's his proclivity to, you know, message underage girls. And not even just that, it's just any girl that talks to him, it's almost like if they show him any kind of positive attention, trying to be nice to him, instant dick pic. You know, it's, I, it's a lot of things that, that draw people to him. You know, it's not just, it's not just these one or two things. It's, there's a lot of facets to this. I, mean, I see Chance's side of it, and I understand the other side of it. Nothing I can do. Observation! Incorrect! There are things you can do, and Uncle Death gets into them more during Part 2, which will be forthcoming very soon. In the meantime, what else can I say? Sally is not an ideal caretaker. <laughs>